Hey, Happy New Year, Sagittarius. How's it going? It's your friend Norma Jane here to do a monthly tarot scope for you. Um, if you want a private reading or anything, check out my website, dharmajane.com. Um, this tarot scope is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Sagittarius. And also, thanks for all the newbies who have joined us recently. And uh, for your likes and subscribes, it's greatly appreciated. So, <clears throat> calling in guides, calling in angels, calling in anyone from the highest good as a message for Sagittarius. Present and future. Alright, one jumper card. Oh, sun in reverse, right? So, for like an overall message for Sagittarius, we're going to... We're gonna we're gonna figure out why things are gloomy. How come things aren't blooming the way that they were supposed to? Because in the recent past, we have I think we told something to somebody, maybe a, a fire sign that like we meant it, you know, or they meant it, but it, it didn't, it didn't, didn't come out right. It came out real, it just, you know, like, like swords. And it led to disappointment, although I think it was loving. There's some measure of things being loving here in order for a cycle to, I feel like I want things to like, you know, roll. Either way, it brought about some disappointment. And I think maybe this disappointment is what's leading to this, like, gloominess here. Why is the King of Air here? Who is he? So this loving person, this person in your life that loves you, um, they came out really harsh. And it's, I, it, and it's because they don't want you to worry anymore. They want you to, to, to move on from the situation, from whatever the situation mm -hmm. is. Um, yeah, see, they want you to have the Ten of Cups, but there's some kind of like stall. And I feel like that's why they tried to come in and like slice and cut because they were going to cut through it, but I don't think that it worked. Yeah. See, it just caused, it caused a different kind of ending. I think I want to be like good intentions gone bad. Yeah, good intentions gone bad. See, this is another like indication of it not being completed. This is the guy, the T line, he comes around and he crosses T's and dots I's and he just makes sure that everything is finished in order to get to the next step. And I think that was the intention here. And I just noticed the unity card at the bottom of the deck. That's kind of like the two of cups is union. So uh, this is definitely someone who has love for Sagis here in the recent past. And I just, I think that something that was met with good intentions just like didn't work out because now in the present moment see we have a tower we have we ha it's almost like we have to make a decision now about this emperor character but I think the decision might mean being single or being you know completely independent and it would mean a complete death but there's confusion about that and there's just like you know we don't even know if we have the strength to take care of whatever this is none of the people in these pictures are smiling they all just kind of look melancholy and I actually kind of feel a little melancholy because I think that well first let's just ask what is it what why is this tower what is the tower oh maybe between a Capricorn and a Libra, but I think maybe it might be more like karmic soul ties. 
So maybe a karmic partner. And something here has happened. What happened? What's, what is the tower? What happened? Something got found out. Somebody said something that just was not okay. And so now, why is the emperor in reverse? See, because I think if somebody was spying, it might be between a water sign and an air sign. But here we have the messenger of air twice. And there's two children. Two children are two immature characters or two, two like little birds that go around and talk about stuff they shouldn't be talking about. And I think this is a different person. This is a different scenario. It's like almost up here, it's like forced where they're trying to get you. This tea line comes in and they're like, let's be done with this. And then there's this tower after that. There's this because there was like resistance to that. And then there's this tower where it's almost like the universe just comes in and takes care of it for you. Yeah, because then there's moving on and You know the Three of Pentacles, I don't feel like that's third party, but I do feel like it's maybe focusing on work and focusing on these Pentacles here. Because in order to do this tidying up, this, you know, taking care of the last bit of things in order to probably be independent, um, some work needs to be put in in order for that to happen. Yeah, see, the journeyman, I was just talking about independence. The journeyman is the one who, like in a shop, would be the one that's the most experienced. They're the one who is independent. They do it by themselves, but they do have help. It's just they're on their own. And so I think that that might be what we're trying to work on right now in January. Sagittarius is is figuring out how to, because it, it didn't work out up here to bring down the, the karma, whatever this is, and it didn't work here with the tower. So now it's like, all right, what do I do? How do I, how do I pull in this energy? And I think that there's just going to be like a, it's like continued fear. Yeah, because here we have the Ten of Air again, and we have two twos, which are talking about, you know, making choices. <clears throat> but there is an indication here of moving away from this energy of this upside down like marriage. But I really just want to be like not breaking up. It's just, I think that. I kind of want to be like maybe the way that people talk to each other is unacceptable and it's what's dumping out all of the cups because there's a lot of air here and they're, the way that things are now need to not be the way that they are. And I'm not really sure why I went from like, well, you need to be independent to, well, we're going to figure out how to do this together. And I think that maybe that's where Sagittarius is, is that they don't want to do it by themselves. They're not trying to be independent. This independent lady, I mean, she's kind of like smug, but she doesn't necessarily look happy. She just is. She's just like existing. Why is the Ten of Cups in reverse? The Emperor in reverse again. Oh, my. So, you know, and that might be that grasping onto thing that I was talking about, how we like didn't want to be alone, but... Yet here it is with the emperor in reverse. Yeah, because I think somebody's not making a good choice about some kind of really hasty, probably like sexual encounter. Yeah, and it brought, it's bringing burden and it's bringing, it's bringing clarity, that's for sure. And here at the bottom of the deck, we have the hermit who is really going within and thinking about these things. Um, I can't say for sure who did what, 
you know, as far as the encounter goes, but towards the end of January, there's going to be a real, you know, you've got these two cards, you have the Hierophant in reverse, and you have moving forward, moving on. So for some of you, that's going to be actually splitting up, and for some of you, that's going to be moving on from the way that things are. Because if it's not working, then it, it needs to be changed. Wow, blank slate. This is like the fool. This is the fairy guide. This is this is kind of like following your intuition because you're gonna be faced with this and it's gonna be a very heavy burden. And it's about like what's it gonna to do to take this to turn this sun around? What's it gonna take? to turn that up topsy-turvy. And I think that's what this is the call for. Like you already know within you and your intuition is telling you how to fix it and how to change it. So, so what's this decision here going to be moving on or working better together as a group? All right. That is all I have for you. Sagittarius for January. Um, I'll be back in a couple of weeks and I'm going to try to do some more videos. And if you want a private reading, check out my website, dharmajane.com. And uh, all the information you need about me is in the box below. Until next time, happy good one.